Welcome to Vivet Volume, a high-quality DICOM visualization tool for medical imaging review in 3D. With Vivet Volume, both anatomists and medical doctors appreciate the ability to teach and work with high-fidelity scans in VR. In this video, we will walk through creating an activity from a volume. We will then add slides to an activity. These topics are covered under Creating Activities in the User Guide in the lower left-hand corner. A very important tip, you will find that it is much easier to use your mouse when creating activities. There are two ways to create activities from volumes. The first way is from the Volumes panel. For any given volume, select Create Activity from the menu on the volume's thumbnail image. The second way is from within a given volume. Simply click the Create Activity button. The Create New Activity panel displays, requiring you to give the volume a name. You also have the option to describe it and specify the author name. After you click the Create button, your activity is not saved until you click the Save button in the upper right hand corner. However, you won't want to save until after you add content to the activity. For starters, you should give your slide a title, your first slide a title and a body so you can explain what is going on in the volume view on the slide. You can even add multiple title elements to emphasize important points or themes. You can also add multiple body elements to explain the points or themes. Using the ZSpace stylus, manipulate the volume to uncover what you are talking about in the, in the title and body elements. This is the only time you need to use the stylus. Once you have the volume where you want it, click the Store Current View button at the bottom of the scene. It's very important. If you don't store the view, you risk losing your work on the slide. To add another slide, click the plus button at the bottom of the scene. The next slide will inherit this view. If you would like your current view to be the starting point of, point of succeeding slides, click the plus button as many times as you want slides with this view. On each slide, add title and body elements as appropriate. Then manipulate the volume with the stylus as appropriate. Before moving on to the next slide, make sure you click the Store Current View button so you don't lose your work. When you're all done, click Save. When you close your activity, you will land on the Activities panel, where your new activity is added. I will cover managing activities in another video. Thank you for walking through creating activities in Vivid Volume today.